Hello. So you've bought yourself a go-to telescope and you've discovered that when it moves from one object to another object, sometimes it's not in the centre and sometimes it's not even in the field of view. The reason for this is probably because the tripod is not exactly vertical. Now it's difficult when you've got a lawn or you keep moving it in and out of the garage and things to get it vertical each time. So an idea is to put some little cups in your lawn uh, which will make sure that the tripod is exactly vertical every single time and you'll have much better results with your go-to telescope finding the objects from the list. So let's move on to think about how it's done. So you've got yourself a robotic telescope and you're going to have some fun. The most important thing about a robotic telescope in use is that it has to be vertical and they usually put a very nice little bubble so you can see that the bubble is in the center of the circle pretty much mm. and on a lawn that is not particularly ideal because you're not going to be you're going to have to set it up each time and make sure it's flat so yeah i have a solution Using some things you might find around your shed, some plastic cups, which people use to uh, protect their carpets from their feet on their um, furniture, some garden light spikes. We're going to use some glue to attach the two together to make a unit that can go into the lawn. So I'm attaching the spikes to the bottom of the, that one, to the bottom of there with some epoxy resin, quite a large dollop of epoxy resin. And that will dry to give us a good solid spike. There you go. And we make two more of those and we'll be away. So, while they dry, we now have to mark the position of the feet. I have a screwdriver and I'm going to make a hole in the ground where the little pad will go. So there you are, just next to the leg, another one just next to the leg, and another one just next to the leg. Make sure they're all on the same side. And we can remove the telescope and we have the positions for the pads. I'm using a hammer to make sure that just around the hole has got a depression so that when the cup goes in it will go completely flush with the lawn and you can mow over it. Another thing you might like to do is just mark one of your legs as the south leg so that in the dark it's easy to see which leg goes on which and you're away so here we are we have our spikes ready the little cups on we have our marked position which has been bedded down to take the cup We've got our spray paint and we've got something to make sure it gets into the ground nice and flat we can do it by hand first to make sure make it probably go in quite nicely by hand and if it just needs a bit more welly there you go there's one cup flush with the grass and it'll remain in that position won't move around because it's spiked in then you just do the rest so there we are, the three pots are in position, ready to take the legs of the tripod and make sure that every time we observe, the telescope is absolutely vertical without having to mess about in the dark. Mrs. Cooper has a concern that they may look a little bit uh, obvious in the lawn. So I've got some uh, Mrs. Cooper assuaging paint here and we will just paint them green and they will not stick out like a sore thumb. A shame really because at night you might want them to stick out like a sore thumb however these things it's all about compromise 
and here we go this is nicely done so there we are our telescope is in its little feet on the lawn and every time we come to use it we just put it on there and as you see the bubble is nice and centralized in the circle and it will be able to be used very very effectively so i hope that helps um, an idea for sorting out your problems so if you've been having a problem locating objects that might just sort it out so good luck let me know how you get on if it solves your problem i hope so bye